हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ गवर्निंग सिस्टम ऑफ स्टीम टर्बाइन वर्क्स ओके एंड वी विल पर्टिकुलरली लर्न अबाउट द थ्रोटल कंट्रोल गवर्निंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट गवर्निंग इज सी दिस इज द स्टीम टर्बाइन ओके स्टीम टर्बाइन एंड दिस इज द शाफ्ट ऑफ स्पीम स्टीम टर्बाइन ओके नाउ इट इज कनेक्टेड टू सम जनरेटर सेट बिकॉज जनरली स्टीम टर्बाइन आर यूज इन स्टीम पावर प्लांट्स फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सो वट एवर आउटपुट पावर ऑफ स्टीम टर्बाइन इज इज कनेक्टेड टू सम जनरेटर सेट एंड अल्टीमेटली द जनरेटर सेट इज डिलीवरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर यू कैन सी इज द अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर आउटपुट ओके ना वट हैपन्स दैट द अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर आउटपुट ऑफ द जनरेटर सेट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द लोड टू विच इट इज कनेक्टेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज दीज आर द टू टर्मिनल्स बाई विच इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर आउटपुट इज taking place okay suppose we are connecting a 200 watt bulb so generator has to develop 200 watts okay and in case we are connecting these two terminals to 1000 watt bulb then according to that the generator has to develop 1000 watts of electrical energy so it depends upon the load it is called as electrical load how much load is connected to the generator set according to that the amount of power has to be developed by the generator okay so since generator is running by the mechanical power input of the turbine so in case the load on the generator is reducing then the mechanical power input to this generator must also reduce so it must it means work done the power developed in the steam turbine the mechanical power developed in the steam turbine must also reduce and in case the load on the generator set is increasing okay it means the mechanical power input must also increase so the power developed in the steam turbine must also increase accordingly okay otherwise what will happen see i am telling you suppose i say that this is the generator set and the load on the generator set is less compared to that of input power so what will happen the shaft will start spinning faster the reason is the mechanical power developed in the turbine steam turbine is more so it is feeding more mechanical power but the amount of power required is less so turbine will find it easier to rotate the shaft so it will start spinning the shaft with higher speed that we don't want remember whenever electrical power is produced then the shaft of generator must rotate with constant angular frequency irrespective of the electrical load okay so it is like this load on the generator is reduced and still same amount of mechanical power is fed the shaft of generator set will start spinning faster which we don't want and in case load is increased on the generator set and the steam turbine is feeding less amount of mechanical power to the generator set what will happen now the turbine will find it harder to rotate the shaft because requirement is high and turbine is delivering less power okay so now the turbine will find it harder to rotate the shaft so in turn what will happen the shaft will start rotating with slower speed that also we don't want because i already told you that whenever electrical power is developed by a generator set especially for alternating current then we want constant angular frequency okay now what happens how this mechanical power developed in the turbine is controlled by controlling the mass flow rate of steam passing through this turbine here m denotes the mass flow rate of steam okay so it is very simple that if electrical load on the generator set is increasing then the mass flow rate must also increase accordingly okay and in case electrical load is decreasing the mass flow rate must also decrease accordingly so that the shaft of generator set must rotate with constant angular frequency means turbine must deliver exactly same amount of power which is required by the generator set okay like this here i am believing that generator is having 100% efficiency however it depends upon the efficiency of generator set also uh, practically the power output of the turbine must be bit higher than that of generator set power input because some amount of losses are also taking place but here i am taking it as that there is no as such losses happening in this connection okay so let's learn that how the governing system especially the throttle governing system of steam turbine works for controlling the power of steam turbine mass flow rate of steam is controlled by throttle control governing so let's learn about the main components of throttle control governing it consists of a governor you can see this is the governor and you know what a governor is that these are the masses of governor these are the links in case the governor starts spinning faster then the masses are forced to move in radially outward direction okay so in that case the sleeve will go up it will slide over this axis and sleeve will go up and in case the rpm reduces then the masses due to action of gravity will fall so sleeve will go down like this now this is a spool valve as i am showing by the help of arrow this is a spool valve a spool valve contains a piston cylinder system and a specially designed spool you can see this spool a spool is somewhat acting like that of a piston inside a cylinder okay now you can see that a spool valve consist of four ports port a port b port c port d and a central port o so from the central port o oil is forced to go inside okay now what happens in case 
we pull this spool in upward direction. This spool can move to and fro inside the cylinder. Okay. In case it is pushed in upward direction, then oil will enter from O, but it will get port A open. So oil will enter from O and come out from A. But port C D from C D port the oil can return back. In case this spool is pulled up, in that case oil is entering at O and can come out from A. And these two ports C D are free for oil return. Similarly, in case this spool is forced in downward direction, in that case oil which is entering from O will come out from C. However, the ports A B are free for oil return. Okay, so this is what the job of a spool valve. Okay, oil can enter from center, and according to the movement of spool, we can direct the oil where we want. Okay, in case pulled up, it can come out from O, and C D are free for oil return. In case pushed down, then it can come out from C, entering from O, come out from C. and ab are free for oil return okay now this is the entire assembly indicative diagram of the throttle control governing now how it works this is the governor i am showing by the help of arrow this is the governor this is its sleeve okay and this is the servo motor okay what is servo motor servo motor is also a kind of piston cylinder system okay which is filled with oil on top as well as bottom okay the piston can move to and fro inside it This is the steam chest, as I am showing by the help of arrow. This is the steam chest which contains a throttle valve inside it. Means, in case the piston of this servo motor moves up and down, then it can close this opening as well as open this opening. In case it is moving up, it will more open, and in case it is pushed down, the opening will be reduced. Okay, this is called a steam chest. Means, from the boiler, the steam first of all enters this chest. Okay, ultimately this throttle valve is connected to this steam turbine. okay this is a steam turbine and steam turbine shaft is connected to a generator for developing power and this same shaft is connected to this governor also by the help of gear mechanism you can see this is the gear by the help of which some power is supplied to this governor and rest amount of power is supplied to this generator so steam can enter to this turbine first of all it will enter this steam chest and through this total valve it will enter this steam turbine okay and this is the spool valve you can see i already told you how it works and the spool valve's spool is connected to a link this link can rotate in to and fro manner about this point okay to and fro manner about this point and this link is connected to the sleeve of the governor that's it okay so the spool is connected to this link at a corresponding point you can see so in case this link moves in clockwise direction the spool is pulled and in case it moves in anti clockwise direction then spool is pushed like this okay now suppose particular amount of steam is entering this turbine and is running with some particular speed okay now suddenly what happens the load on the generator is reduced in case the generator load is reduced then the rpm of this shaft will shoot up so what will happen these masses will start moving up in upward direction so in second picture you can see what happens the sleeve has been moved in upward direction so this spool is pulled up you can see now oil is entering from o see oil is coming from some oil pump and entering from this o now in case this spool valve is pulled up then oil will move like this it will move and move in upward direction ultimately reach the servo motor and reach this top portion of servo motor and from the bottom the oil will come out and return through port cd I already told you that how this works. In case it is pulled up, oil will enter from O, come out from A, and C D is free for return. So same thing over here. In case this is pulled up because of high speed, it is pulled up. So oil will enter to this upper part of servo motor. From the bottom, the oil has to be re removed. Otherwise, it cannot move. Okay. So it is removed by a port C D. Okay. So since oil is moving. and coming to this top portion so it is pushing the piston in downward direction so what will happen the opening of throttle valve will reduce so it will reduce the mass rate of steam passing through the turbine and by this way the turbine speed will be reduced because i told you that in case the mass flow rate of steam entering the turbine is less this uh, power developed in the turbine will be less and in case mass flow rate is more power developed will be more so by this closing of throttle valve less steam will start flowing through this turbine automatically the speed will be controlled and then it will ultimately settle down and ultimately reach to the equilibrium okay and like this way the speed has been controlled now suppose the load on the generator suddenly increases okay in case the load increases so what is to be done suddenly when load has been increased so it will lead to reduction in the speed of governor rotational speed of governor so what will happen 
since the load over this generator has been increased and speed has gone slow the shaft speed the turbine's shaft speed has gone slow so the masses will be pulled inward side and the sleeve will go down so this will push the spool valve in downward direction okay so you can see now over here that oil coming from this port o has its path to pass out from d and ultimately reach the bottom side of this row motor as well as this path ab the ports ab are free for oil return so from the top oil will be returned so by this way what will happen since the oil is entering inside it will push the piston to move in upward direction so it will increase the opening of the throttle valve and once the opening of throttle valve has been increased more steam will start flowing through this turbine and it will again hike the speed of shaft of the turbine and ultimately what will happen it will reach to its equilibrium like this okay by this way it will reach to the equilibrium speed okay so this is how the throttle control governing of steam turbine works it is used for controlling the power output of a steam turbine and keeping the rpm of a steam turbine constant thank you